Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Sky Factory. Welcome to Sky Factory 3. My name is Wolfer and uh, yeah, we've got a new one. I decided to play this one over the old one a little bit because uh, I've been playing it and I started playing with a, a friend and we can have more friends joining us. I am enjoying it so, so much. So I get all of that off of our heart. Hot bar, except for the torch. Let's see if I can remember how I was doing this. I had a pretty decent method for the start. And let's see, I need that. And that. We'll just uh, place you there real quick. Get a crook. Now, I need a sapling. Once I get a sapling, I'll move down. Come on, I need one sapling. There we go. Got one sapling. So, I'm going to kind of rush through the very, very beginning until we get to probably cobblestone generation because it's almost all the exact same as sky factory chop down trees the saplings to get uh to get dirt <laughs> saplings and worms to get dirt and string um yeah almost all of that is the same anything out of that no okay now i did that for a reason and I'm doing that for a reason, too. All right. Let's go ahead and do this one. I normally don't make a crook this early, so I may have screwed myself a little bit on it, but... Yeah, I'll survive. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that, as I always do. I like the crafting stations better. I don't know why. I think it's because you can leave resources on it. Of course, we're going to use it as our first beginner for the platform. How much wood do we have? Oh, awesome. I can make a lot of these slabs. Get our little platform going. Come on. There we go. Now, like I said, most of the beginning stuff is going to be the exact same, so I'll probably do like one or two trees with you guys, and then I'll do the rest. Yeah, there's a trick to that. That is preventing all of these leaves from despawning while I build this platform. Great trick. And of course, there's vein miner, or ore excavation, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And new tree. Now, I do still have um, Sky Factory 2. Probably won't be playing it anymore. But a couple of things that I'm liking about this one so far is that, for one thing, there is uh, there's no Thomcraft. <laughs> I can learn I can learn to live without that. I like Thomcraft, but oh my gosh, is it so complex. So, I did make a macro last season or with starcraft starcraft sky factory 2 or 2.5 i did make a macro for the for the crouching stuff so i don't have to deal with that i want an axe really want an axe and x awesome Moves a little bit quicker. So, I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I've I've noticed about this pack while I do these first couple of trees, and then I'm going to jump probably all the way until we get our first dirt block. Which, actually, I think we can set that up right now. Got a lot of... We have a lot of saplings. There we go. 
I'll just place you like right there. Almost just walked off right there. So I really want to get to a, an apple tree and a dirt system and fun stuff like that. Yeah. We're going to move a little bit quicker this season at the beginning. Last season, I had no clue what I was doing, really. But this one, I, I've gotten to a point. I can't turn that off. I've gotten to a point that I kind of know some tricks. I'm playing it on my own. I have... Um, we're actually going to take this. Oh, there's something I want to make really, really early on. We'll use up this one. Dirt! Uh, there's something we want to make really early on. That is... Uh, what was I doing? Chop down a tree, plant a new one. Getting distracted here. I'm trying to talk and do things at the same time is not my forte. Um, this mod has the chickens installed. Hatchery, I think it's called. So there's like a million chickens in this game. I actually have a full chicken farm on mine that is all but, I think, like five base resources. The one that I've found is the most annoying is the freaking nether chickens. The uh, nether quartz chickens I can never freaking find. It took forever to get one of those. So, yeah. Okay, I want to make something really, really quick. I need one more plank. And it is so convenient. I don't know why this isn't in more packs. I'm going to get rid of that builder's wand. Oh, man, do I love this thing. And it comes from uh, this pack, the actually, actually additions. I have a crafting table on a stick. I can go wherever I want and craft wherever I want. So this guy, eventually we're going to uh, add him to our tinkers section. Because there's, there's a feature on that that I love. Which is that if you get the setup correctly with all four tables, you can interact with one of them and reach all of them. So let me work a little bit, get up some dirt, get up some, a couple extra trees. Um, I'm not gonna do any super massive trees or anything. I'm gonna get some string. It's gonna be the same. We just gotta put these guys in there, wait for it to infest and we will work on that. I think right now, we'll do it on the next tree. So I can get some logs so I can expand our platform a little bit. And I'm going to keep making dirt. I will see you guys in just a little bit. And we're back. And I'm already at a decent little point here. Do I have extra saplings? I do. I've plenty to do this. Okay, so we're getting some, some dirt going. I made a couple of sieves. They're pretty easy. You still have to make a mesh. But now when you make them, they actually don't have a mesh in them. You have to place a mesh inside them. And we got we got these guys, so just go ahead and place the mesh inside. And the reason I have five or I have nine of them here is because we can actually do nine at once now. Which I think is crazy. Because now we got a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so let's see, we got grass seeds, we got a spruce sapling, an oak sapling. Let's go ahead and just uh, do this real quick. So we'll do that. We got some potato seeds. Ooh, wee. We got some stone pebbles. Awesome. I think we need. Make a couple quick things real quick. I've got some logs in here. We're going to focus on uh, drawers this season for for what we're making. Make some slabs real quick. So we can make an oak crucible. 
Now we're gonna keep having to make dirt. We got three more. Because we need these pebbles. And there we go, we got a furnace. Perfect. Now I get to uh, cook up a whole ton of stuff. <laughs> I think you can just do it this way, actually. Yeah, that should be perfect. So I don't need those filled up with with uh, water. I'm actually going to place it on top of the... Nah, we'll move that real quick. Because I don't think we're actually within any distance for stuff to actually spawn around us. We'll place it right behind here. We're not... We don't have a far enough distance for things to spawn. And now that we have this, we can start cooking up some stuff. To get, uh... Uh... Whatchamacallit? Torches! So we can actually start making some torches now. And one of the next things we need to make is, of course, a bed. Got a little stockpile of string in here. So we got a, a decent amount of string. We've got... We're going to really look into this actually additions for most of our machinery and stuff. Because it looks really cool. I've been looking at it a little bit in mine. You can see I'm getting some achievements in here. Um, that's not a very big tree. We'll very quickly be moving into stone. We'll do that, get some more of that going. I'm gonna work a little bit, just get a little backlog of, of wood. On, uh, all my free play stuff, I've been, uh, What have I been doing? I'm like thinking here and trying to do stuff and talk and yeah, I, I, I'm not good at both. Um, what was I saying? I just completely blanked on what I was saying. Or, oh, wood. I've been uh, working on getting I have no sticks. Ooh, perfect number of slabs for me to get sticks. I've been working on getting like all the different woods. So there's a way to get all the different trees in the game. And on my free play one, I have all but four trees. I'm not doing Pam's Harvest Craft. I am not doing it. This is the only Pam's Harvest tra craft tree I will make. I won't do a uh, a paper tree either because we really don't have any need for paper. I'm also going to give myself my own challenge here. So this game is challenging enough. I'm giving us a new one. We cannot sift gravel. We're going to have a completely different way to get all our materials. So we are never allowed to sift gravel. We can make gravel but we can't sift it. And it's going to sound stupid. It's going to sound very, very stupid. But it will prove its own in the long run. So. Because I think if we look at it, the only thing we get from sifting gravel that I don't think I can get any other way Copper, aluminum, nickel, silver, lead... Nope! I have absolutely no need to sift gravel. I can get every material from gravel a different way. Now the only thing I will need to make gravel for is to get flint. So, we are just going to pop those in there. I'm going to work on getting up a bit more stuff. I just wanted to bring you guys in so we could set up our initial stations here. We're going to pop a bunch of these guys in here. Get some get some water going we will come back I will have a clay bucket that we're gonna fire up a crucible that we're gonna fire up to get lava 
and we're going to start making some cobblestone. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. And we're back and done a little bit of work. So working on getting in a second water for our water source. I've actually been using a bunch of different water for stuff. I've got some rotten flesh, a whole bunch of seeds for different things, which reminds me, I need to get a farm ready for these guys. I've got some feathers. I found a, I had a, uh, I built a spawning pad over there and a chicken spawned and a creeper spawned. Yeah, I forgot to light it up. So now, ooh, ooh, we're in a plains and over here, Savannah. Interesting. So if we expand that way, we might get a new, uh, a new biome area. And we are in a desert. In plains. What? Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, biomes are all over the place right now. So, we're going to do a couple quick things. Number one, infinite water. Done. And yes, I have three buckets, because we're about to lose one here in a little bit. So, you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's uh, get rid of some of this. So we got a lot of bones, which I needed a lot of them. So we got nine of that. Where's my clay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go ahead and make our crucible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crucible. Table, even though I have that right there. Got that. Got that. I'm going to place it right... Right here with this guy. I don't really care if that fills up with water. The crucible, I don't think, can fill up with water. So, not too worried about that. You will notice what I am eating slash drinking is no longer apples, it's apple juice. I made a juicer, it just costs three stone, so nice and easy. I should really fill that in. There, that'll work for now. Um, cobblestone. We have some cobblestone back here to make... I think that's all I need. Yeah, one lava. Once I get that one lava, we can have a cobblestone generator. So the reason I made this juicer is because the... Well, I'm not really hungry enough to show it, but an apple will fill up my hunger. Which, I'm not hungry at all. But you can see it only gives me one and a half saturation. These things, I think, actually give you like four and a half saturation. That's two hunger and one and a half. Sorry, it's two and a half hunger and six saturation. I get this from one apple. Oh, shoot. I didn't like the middle of this. I completely blinked on the bridge. But, uh, yeah. Got this giant grass platform over here. It'll help spawn us some animals. Once we get a chicken or two, we can move on with our base. I am just making a couple of those. I didn't feel like making any extra sticks. Also, I've been getting so much dirt. Because, um... Uh, I'd completely forgotten about this. But you can compost wood. If you hit it with a hammer, you get wood chips. And you get so much wood chips. I mean, I'm not really using all the wood, so... Not hurting too bad. There we go. Four more logs off of a, uh... A couple of trees. I think that was like two trees. So, I'm going to keep growing wood. I'm going to wait until I got that lava cooked up, which actually shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it still takes a while. I'm going to get that lava cooked up. I'm going to keep chopping trees, collecting collecting wood, because now I actually need wood. Um, dirt is something that we can kind of automate a little bit later. Kinda. Um, that was not what I wanted to use on that, but oh well. 
It's not like I'm really hurting on it. I have not found any real way to automate tree farms early on in this pack. I may be missing something, but then again, I'm also giving myself the challenge of no sifting gravel. Call me stupid for that challenge, but hey, it's my play. I want to do it. Also, I found out you can do that with, uh, you can shift click things into the crafting grid. I didn't know you could do that, but I think that's because this is actually, I can, like, store stuff on there and walk away. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool, just have that random stuff sitting there. But, uh, yeah. It's really cool having that thing. That's why I like the crafting station. As soon as we get this lava, we're going to get, uh... Tinker's Construct set up. We're probably going to set it over here. Or back here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Alright. Well, I'll see you back when our lava is ready. Okay, guys. Our lava is done. It is ready. Let's go ahead and grab it. And we're also going to grab... Uh, one more wood, right? Yeah. So, we're going to make something really quick before we do it. We need a drawer. I love these drawers. They're so convenient for this stuff. But, what we got to do is we got to put... Oh, does it take one glass? Two, I think. Yeah, I think it does. So, uh, take our one cobblestone here. And pop you guys in there. Get our one glass going. We'll set everything up on here. Lava to the right. Water on the left. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Now this is actually really cool. It's simplifies the cobblestone generation by giving you a cobblestone generator. Now you can upgrade this once you have better resources. So you can upgrade it to an iron, diamond, uh blaze rye and then an emerald and this thing makes a cobblestone block every tick the one that we have makes one every 40 ticks which is in reality that's all we really need right now so the reason i made this drawer is because you can see we don't have any access to its inventory i can right click on it and grab whatever it had but if we put a drawer on top you can put in any inventory on top of it. I like drawers. It'll automatically push the cobblestone into there. So you can see it's going up if you look at the top of the screen. And it also works with hoppers on the bottom. I don't know if you can put like a storage on the bottom and it'll do it. But <clears throat> there we go. We got cobblestone. Now we can use that to work our way towards a, a tinker's smeltery. But I think that'll be next time. Because we've reached a bit of a point today. I gotta wait for some stuff to happen over there. I gotta wait to see if mobs start spawning over there to really get anything else going. Um, I don't want to make any more lava at the moment. But for me to really progress, I might actually get away with not sifting anything the only thing i may need to actually sift because <laughs> let's see if i use these i can see everything that i need to get so i actually will have to sift sand enough to get a cactus seed all of this stuff i am not dealing with so a cactus seed I don't need. I think I will have to actually sift to get these because this is the only way to get them. But we'll do with that one later. All this, it's literally that's going to be the only thing we want out of this. I have no use for that. And not really any use for that. Sponges, I, have, I haven't got any clue. You can make sponges, I think. Yeah, with wood chippings, a slime, and wool. Or all this stuff, which I am not going anywhere near. 
I think there's another way to get it as well. Yeah, loot bags. Well, for sifting, dust, I don't need any of that. I don't need it. Well, I need that because that's the only way to get it. But we'll set up a system that for any item that we absolutely cannot get any other way, we will sift. So like these two, I actually don't need to sift crush netherrack. Because there's a way for me to get it without using netherrack. What? Oh, I just switched, switched them around. Uh, soul sand. Soul sand I might have to sift. Just to get these woods. I don't really care about the berry bushes. Uh, oh, I can sift soul sand with the flint stiffen mesh to get the black quartz. So we won't sit. No, I have to just have to get the cactus. No, dust. You can get a gas tear from that. I didn't know that. Topiary grass wool. My rule is really kind of a loose rule. What the heck? Oh, that's how we end up with those. So there's granite, diorite, and andesite there, but I'm not really worried about that. Gravel. I'm not going to use any of these pieces. That's that's my thing, is I really don't want to use these pieces. And gravel, I can get away with absolutely not sifting at all. I have no use for sifting it. And I have not made it to this point, so I have no idea how to deal with that stuff. What the heck is that? Shulker pearl. Interesting. But yeah. For, like, these ones, we'll set up a system for getting things like this later on. These ancient spores might come in handy for something. Because as far as I can tell, that's the... Seriously, the only way to get mycelium is through that. But, for now, that's going to be it. Um, I've got a lot of plans with this series. I'm having a whole lot of fun playing it. I've been playing my free play one. I'm on like day 200 something already. <laughs> Today we're on day 7. We've been through a week. So... That's going to be it for this time, guys. If you like to hit the like button below. If not, let me know if you don't like any comments. I still need to come up with a new outro because god damn it that long. I will see you guys next time. I'll probably do a little bit of work off camera and get some more dirt. Because I want to build a farm. And it's going to take a lot of dirt. So, I'll see you guys next time. I thought that was a rock.